Okay, so it's time for its uh, its Dino Health Check, see what power she's actually putting out uh, as a daily. My only real concern is that it's not as clever on fuel as I thought it was going to be. But let's see what power she's actually putting out. Now, this was actually mapped a long ass time ago. So the amount of research and development that's gone into our Mitsubishi Colt maps since then is, well, it's a lot of time and effort. So we think we could improve on this no matter what it's putting out. So, uh, yeah, let's see whether it's, uh, it's going to perform. Right, so this one was actually mapped in 2010, Richard. It was, and by the racing line, I believe, which no longer exists. Yeah, so it's time, isn't it, to see if you can put a little spin on it. Uh, well, let's see if the... Uh, it's pretty stock, it's pretty standard. The, let's see if the turbo will handle 216,000 miles <laughs> and a bit of a map revision. Let's find out. Oh well, we have an issue, and I don't know whether you can hear that, but we've, uh, I think we've lost the air comp pump there, Rich. Mm. Can you smell it? I can smell it. Yeah, I could see it venting on that last pull, and uh, it was making a noise. Mm. Well, you said you'd had a noise the other day, yeah. didn't you? And we've had these air comp pumps uh, fail. We've actually had them explode on the dyno, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's fix that by cutting the belt off it, Rich. Yeah. We have some good improvements, Richard. Um, since we've discovered that the aircon pump exploded, it uh, seems. I mean, aircon pumps are a common issue, so that's not. That's not any reflection on what we're doing. That's they no. are common, and we've had that several times happen to us, haven't we? Yeah, but the uh, mapping side of things seems to be making improvement, and I've got to say that's ten ten years worth of research development going into this. Uh, yeah, that's the difference, isn't it? I mean, what you've got to look at here is that this car was mapped by the racing line when this car was three years old, so just our warranty done. There's so many things that we've learned about these cars in the last ten years, and uh, obviously. Uh, modifications to you know to what we're doing as regards in the map so i would hope to think there was always going to be improvements you know yeah. what i mean um, i yeah, mean it has done 200 and yeah the only thing we were saying here is that this car's done 216,000 miles and maybe the improvements might not be as good as they would on one with you know half the mileage yeah, on sure. it or whatever but it's going well mate it's going well might be time to give the edge bay a bit of a clean <laughs> Very nice. I've got my smart t-shirt on today. It is it's Saturday. It's Saturday and I don't work on a Saturday, but Dan's wrote me in to work out. I work on a Monday. Don't be like that. I work flat out Monday to Friday. I just refuse flat to work, work on a what, Saturday. Flat flat out meaning laying down, saying, no, don't make it happen to me. I think you should shut up soon as I've just mapped your car on a Saturday and we don't do maps on a Saturday. You've done very well, Richard. You've done very, very well. I'm impressed. It made 188 brake horsepower with its 10-year map on it. And then, and then it's just finished on 204 brake horsepower. Yeah, I, I mean, we were always going to make improvements on that. I mean, a lot it's of the, some, it's so some again, it isn't our map on this car. Originally. It was originally on this car, but the car has been mapped since it was three years old. And we've known this car a very, very long time and always serviced it and looked after it. Hence the reason that Dan bought it back when the car came up for sale with such mileage on it. Um, 
We knew we got a little squeal coming from somewhere. You'd mentioned that the other day to me. Um, we thought it might be the aircon pump, but couldn't necessarily see anything wrong with it. It did about two or three pulls in the aircon pump, decided it was going to uh, let go, which to be fair, we sort of knew anyway. Uh, We've seen it before. Yeah, so not a problem. So um, we cut the belt off it, which is the common way of dealing with it. So if the engine's not driving it, uh, so that's done. Uh, the racing line hadn't taken the pill out um, in this instance, so obviously that was obviously hampering us on power as well. Uh, that's took the torque up mainly more than anything else. Mm, obviously yeah, I think we've another like 26 foot pounds. Yeah, 26 foot pounds torque. So when all said and done, this will change the way this car drives. And uh, the main point to it was you were you were whinging about your master gallon saying that you were getting no more out of this than you were your FN2. So uh, now will be the test of uh, fill this up and then do another run. That'll be the plan, my friend. Shall yeah. we have a look at the graph? Go on then. All right, let's do it. Do it. Okay, so like we always say, red line is as it came in and blue line is as she leaves. And you, as you can see, there's improvements across the rev range there. Um, that's sort of what we expect on modern Colts that we've been mapping. Um, yeah, okay. And we finish on 204 brake horsepower and nearly 220 foot pounds of torque. Pretty good. Happy with that. Uh, so yeah, that's the daily mapped up. So the daily's having had a, a better map on it, and I'm happy to say that we've we've made some improvements. So uh, again, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, this car only has a cat back system on it, so uh, I might do a few little mods, but it's a daily. So let's see how we get on, shall we? But uh, yeah, speak to you on the next one, won't we, Rich? Well, indeed. Well, indeed.